So this new building um, is LEED certified, a green building, lots of, lots of bells and whistles that are going to come online that not only house us as a biology faculty, but also um, we use as a teaching instrument um, to show our students um, things about environmental science and conservation and, and different mechanical systems, um, and just so that making it practical and hit home with the students. We have several core facilities that will enable our faculty to kind of get in a centralized space. Our students will know where that is and it also fosters collaboration just being in those, in those common areas um, and, and kind of stimulating discussion amongst our colleagues. We have a huge microscopy suite where this confocal microscope will be. Um, the new building also comes along with um, allotted state dollars as far as instru instrumentation and equipping the building. So there's a few um, brand new microscopes that are going to um, tag on to that confocal. And so um, that's probably for me personally one of the most exciting parts about the new building is, is having a full fledged out um, microscopy suite. It's strictly biology um, as far as faculty and classrooms are concerned. Um, the College of Science and Maths Dean Suite will be there, um, pre-professional health advising, um, which is now in HHS, will also move over into the building. Um, so we're really excited about taking up this position on campus, um, like I said, close to our colleagues here in ISAT and HHS and chemistry and physics. And we know how our students love the new library, and I think, I think positioning us in between those two will foster even more even more traffic through the through the biology building and talking with parents and prospective students uh, it's a hot topic they they all come up afterwards asking a lot of questions and 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 how it's been designed and laid out and you can see you can see in their eye that that's definitely a selling point and something that i think us makes us a lot more competitive with uva and tech as far as uh, facilities in the biosciences are concerned from from day one the architectural firm um, developed a timeline and they've pretty much stuck to it perfectly give or take a few days or a week or so here and there so we fully anticipate moving um, May at latest midsummer 2012 and then occupancy and, and it's a go uh, fall 2012.